In the aftermath of 9-11, the FBI launched secret programs to send paid informants inside mosques across the United States to spy on Muslim communities. Craig Monte became one of those spies here in Southern California by joining the local mosque in Orange County. He came and pretended to convert to Islam, gaining the trust of the community. People invited him into their homes. He reached out to people seeking a spouse, a wife. According to him, he was instructed to actually have romantic relations with Muslim women because that was one way of recruiting them as informants. This is what he said. It was later revealed that Monte placed recording devices throughout the mosque, eventually collecting hundreds of hours of private conversations and more. He was reaching out to people to talk about jihad, about recruiting people for terrorism, when he was talking about planning a terrorist attack here in Orange County. The same people he approached were the ones who reported him to me, to ask, asking me to report him to the FBI. And when I reported that to the FBI, these same individuals who reported that informant or that agent provocateur were the ones targeted by the FBI, harassed by the FBI, pressured by the FBI to become informants. FBI's harassment and accusations turned their lives upside down. Some lost their jobs and reputations. Others lost their family as a result. In 2011, Yasin Fazaga and two Muslim congregants sued the FBI. With help from the Council on American-Islamic Relations and the American Civil Liberties Union, accusing the agency of targeting them solely because they were Muslim and violating their constitutional rights. The lawsuits were dismissed after the FBI made the case that litigation could pose an unacceptable risk to national security. This could be a further erosion of the judiciary's power in light of the executive power. It's absolutely astounding, but what we have here is for the executive branch, the FBI says, court, I know you're looking at this case, but you have to stop. I'm not going to let you look at this case. I've played my national security card and the game is over. The U.S. Supreme Court will now review the case to see whether they were in fact discriminated against because of their religion. Here at the Orange County Islamic Foundation, where the plaintiffs used to congregate, Imam Tariq Atta says his community needs justice. Trust is really the foundation for any relationship, whether that's at the home, at a business, even with your government, even with your fellow community members. Trust is everything. If that trust collapses, then the whole project of community is really threatened. According to a recent analysis by Brown University, the U.S. government has invested about $1.1 billion on preventing terrorism at home after 9-11. Through newly established government agencies, controversial surveillance methods have been used, at times through espionage, leaving a generation of Muslim Americans struggling with feelings of distrust and fear. And it could take generations to rebuild that trust. It is Tianshan, TRT World, Orange County, California.